As police finish the investigations, firefighters are still very concerned about the conditions in this area. Firebrush, lack of humidity, and the Santana winds are making a very dangerous combination here. La delincuencia sigue afectando muchos sectores. La policía del condado dijo que en lo que va del año ha aumentado los crímenes reportados en un 5% comparado con el año pasado. Grupos pro emigrantes le recomiendan que se memorice el teléfono de un abogado. Los administradores informaron hoy que se les va a empezar a depositar el dinero que se les debe a los jóvenes. Parking on parking lot X will not only save you about 15 minutes trying to find parking, but it will also get rid of your excuse of not finding enough time to exercise. You can also go into their website to do a job search, internship search, or even a fellowship search at careersdsu.edu. The problem expert says that this crossing not only affects you with the stress and the having to wait to get to, to work or to school, but it also creates a health problem. In Washington, Fabiola Johnson, Univision. A fast-burning wildfire threatens 200 homes in the hills above Malibu, and residents here are in panic. They just made us get out of our house. Celebrities like soap star Kate Linder and veteran actress June Lockhart are in shock. Well, I don't know. We were evacuated because smoke was coming in. Authorities are now worried about other residents who are refusing to leave their million-dollar homes in Malibu Colony. We have some residents who um, are insisting that they are going to stay and try and help the firefighters fight the fire, and we certainly encourage that they do not do that. In fact, that that is not safe. They would be jeopardizing their own safety, and we are asking them and telling them that they do need to leave the area. I don't know where my boyfriend is. It began around 10.30 this morning at Cottontail Ranch on Las Virginas Canyon Road. <laughs> Investigators say these two suspects were in the process of manufacturing a large quantity of methamphetamines when their makeshift lab exploded, igniting the fire. I'll kill you! I'm gonna kill you! As police finish the investigations, firefighters are still very concerned about the conditions in this area. Firebrush, lack of humidity, and the Santana winds are making a very dangerous combination here. And with the fire now only 20% contained, the danger here is far from over. In Malibu Canyon, Fabiola Berriozabal, Malibu News 12. A jóvenes del distrito de Columbia no se les está pagando a tiempo. Y el concejal Marion Berry, creador original del programa de empleo de verano, está pidiendo una auditoría. Mientras a miles de jóvenes se les está pagando de más, a otros no se les pagó. Y esto se ha repetido todo el verano. La oficina del alcalde dijo que esto se debe a problemas con las computadoras en el departamento de empleo. El concejal no está completamente de acuerdo. El alcalde no quiere responsabilizarse. En su administración hubo falta de planeación. Tiene más personas que el año pasado. Empezaron dos semanas antes con este sistema. El alcalde también necesita disculparse con los que no se le ha pagado y detener el pago a los que no han trabajado. Los jóvenes hispanos han sido afectados. Muchos dependen de este salario para transportarse a los lugares de trabajo donde también reciben clases especiales de capacitación. Creo que he trabajado de gusto para que no me paguen. Creo que has hecho un buen trabajo para que me paguen bien. El Centro Latinoamericano para la Juventud emplea a algunos de los participantes. Aquí, 30 de los jóvenes han tenido problemas con pagos incompletos. Algunos desanimados incluso han dejado de asistir. A algunos no les dieron el último cheque o no le han pagado. A otros le cortaron las horas. Entonces recibieron algo, pero no todo. Los administradores informaron hoy que se les va a empezar a depositar el dinero que se les debe a los jóvenes. Desde Washington, Fabiola Johnson, Univision. Exposure to traffic in general has been associated with cardiac effects, even uh, heart attacks from being exposed to heavy traffic. It's been associated with asthma, with chronic lung disease, and recently, which is very interesting, it's been associated with birth defects and low birth weight babies. Associate professor at the Graduate School of Public Health is working with researchers at the Universidad Autónoma de Baja California to monitor pollutants in the cars of students who commute. Route we're finding that um, the pollution level is high inside cars. Um, 
especially for a particulate matter that's very, very small called ultrafine particulates. And the ultrafine particulates are elevated inside a car relative to being in a house. They're very high, but they're even higher while you're waiting at the border. Ariana crosses the border every day from Tijuana to go to school. Sometimes you can just get this huge smell of gas, you know, or like cars that are old that need to be fixed, that aren't fixed and just, you know, polluting the air. She chooses to live in Tijuana despite the long waits because she couldn't afford living in San Diego. I had to have two jobs. I mean, I was working graveyard shift, children's hospital, and I would come to school, wake up, do radio, then go back to work. The American Public Health Association recommends to turn on the IC, click on the recirculate button, and keep windows up to reduce risks.